Hello everybody, I'm the Xanthar Gamer, also known as Frank, and today we are continuing Undertale. When we last left off, we had just completed the first part of the uh, Metaton quest line, and uh, Alphys upgraded our phones. We also donated a lot of money to the Dog Shrine, which ended up being pointless. But I got cool trophies out of it, so that's great. It can do texting, items, it's got a keychain. I even signed you up for the Underground's number one social network. Now we're officially friends! <laughs> I'm going to the bathroom. Ah, oh boy. It's a beat up figurine of a female human with cat ears. It's a computer. It's accessing some kind of puzzle in Snowden. It's a teacup shaped. It's a teacup shaped like a yellow lizard. It's full of soda. Seems like the notes to something, but it's all written in chicken scratch. Seems like a walkthrough to a game or garbage can, but it's pretty cute. Okay. The fridge is filled with instant noodles and soda. Um. Yeah, I, I decided to stay healthy. It's a bag of dog food. It's half full. Yellow feet are tapping just behind the door. Oh, nobody picked up. Okay, so, Pyrus. You're in her room uninvited? Wowee, that's extremely creepy. Scientific books, they seem very dusty. Human history, read one. You look inside. It's a comic of a giant robot fighting a beautiful alien princess. This doesn't strike you as remotely accurate. VHSs and DVDs, they are all... What? Human history. You look inside. It's a comic. Two scantily clad chefs are flinging energy pancakes at each other. Oh, very accurate. That doesn't strike me as very accurate. Got it. It's a comic book. A hideous android is running to school with toast in its mouth. It seems like it's late. Pink goop drips from this strange machine. Oh hey, it's how they used to make McDonald's hamburgers. Looks like Alpha's work table. Seems dusty. With dirty lab coats and a single what? Clean dress. Letters from monsters. Froggit, Snowy, Dog... They're all... Doggo. They're all unopened. It's a lamp with pink fish on the lampshade. There is no light bulb. An incredible invention. When not in use, this bed folds into an extremely easy to drop box. I see, said the fly as he began to croquet. Oop. Dang it. Why does it keep... Maybe don't do that. Aww. Okay, so today's episode, I'm gonna go back and befriend Undyne because I completely freaking forgot to do that. And I feel kind of stupid for having done so. Waterfall. Then we're off. Yay. Doop doo be doo doo. Mana mana do 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 do. Tra la la, the water is very dry today. <sighs> Don't know if that's a reference to something or if I'm just not getting it. Come again sometime, tra la la. Are you David Bowie from Labyrinth? Okay, I don't remember. Crap, I might be going the wrong way. Hang on a minute. Uh, hmm. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and skip this if it takes me forever to get... Or not. Never mind. I was going the wrong way. This is the right area. As this... Oh ho, the human arrives! Are you ready to hang out with Undyne? I have a plan to make you two great friends. Yeah, sure, why not? 
Okay, stand beside behind me. Just make sure to give her this. She loves these. Hi, Papyrus. Ready for your extra private one-on-one -on -one training? You bet I am. And I brought a friend. Hi, I don't think we've... Gurg. Uh... Huh? Why don't you two come in? Ah, Papyrus, you're a good guy. I mean, you're kind of stupid sometimes, but you're a good guy. Here, Undyne, my first friend brought a gift for you of their, uh, on their own. For you on their own. Jesus Christ. Uh, thanks. I'll, uh, put it with the others. Wow. So, are we ready to start? Whoopsie doopsie! I just remembered. I have to go to the bathroom. You two have fun. <laughs> so why are you here? To rub your victory in my face? To humiliate me even further? Is that it? No. Then why are you here? Huh? Wait, I get it. You think I'm gonna be friends with you, huh? Right? Yes. Really? How delightful. I accept. Let's all frolic in the fields of friendship. Not. Wow. Why would I ever be friends with you? If you weren't my house guest, I'd beat you up right now. You're the enemy of everyone's hopes and dreams. I will never be your friend. Now get out of my house. Dang, what a shame. Papyrus, language. I thought Undyne could be friends with you, but I guess I overestimated her. She's just not up to the challenge. Challenge? What? Papyrus, wait a second. Darn it. He thinks I can't be friends with you? Foo hoo hoo. What a joke. I could make friends with a wimpy loser like you any day. I'll show him. Listen up, human. We're not just going to be friends. We're going to be besties. Uh. I'll make you like me so much, you won't be able to think of anyone else. Foo hoo hoo hoo. It's the perfect revenge. Why don't you have a seat? Uh. No. It's so nice to have you over. Why not take a seat at the table? One time, Alphys's, uh, friend came over here. All he did was lie seductively on the piano and fed himself grapes. I don't really like that guy. But I admire his lifestyle. You want to see my room? Too bad, no nerds allowed. Well, maybe some nerds. Aww. In the sink is a teacup in the shape of a fish. I find it funny that they, that Undyne has a teacup in the shape of a fish. Alphys has a teacup in the shape of a lizard. A yellow lizard at that. Look inside the bone drawer. <laughs> this oven is some top-of-the-line MTT thing. But, you know, as much as technology advances, nothing beats home-cooked food with fire magic. Food home-cooked with fire magic. There's a silverware drawer. It has forks, spoons, knives, tiny swords, axes, spears, nunchucks. All your everyday kitchen utensils. I mean, you gotta... You, okay, the nunchucks make sense. You, you've got... You've got to tenderize the meat somehow. I hate cold food. So I have Alphys fixed up my fridge so it heats up food instead. Hot fridge. The world's greatest invention. Humans suck, but their history kind of rules. Case in point, this giant sword. Historically, humans wielded swords up to ten times their size. Right? Uh, yeah, you know what? Fine. Heh, I knew it. When I first heard of that, I immediately wanted one. So me and Alphys built a giant sword together. She figured out all the specs herself. She's smart, huh? Oh, okay, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> you liar. I've read it in Alphys' human history books. I know all about your giant swords, your colossal alien fighting robots, your supernatural princesses. Eh, there's no way you're gonna fool me. Ah, uh, Undyne. 
can't believe he leapt through the window like that. Normally he nails the landing. Huh. Sit down and progress? Yeah, sure, why not? Comfortable? I'll get you something to drink. <sighs> All set. What would you like? Uh. Hey, don't get up. You're the guest. Sit down and... Um, why not just point to what you want? You can use the spear. Are you hitting on me? Sugar? That sugar's for the tea. I'm not going to give you a cup of sugar. What do I look like? The ice cream woman? Do human ice cream women terrorize humanity with energy spears? Are their ice cream songs a prelude to destruction? Is that it? Actually, kind of. What? Really? That rules! <laughs> uh, soda. Oh, soda? Actually, even though you pointed to it, you don't look happy. Eh, that's fine. I think soda's gross, too. It rots your teeth. It rots your mind. It rots your fighting spirit! Huh? Why do I have it? Aww, that's so cute. Hot chocolate. Oh, you want hot chocolate? Wait, wait, I just remembered. That container's empty. I stopped getting it because it was always a hassle. Asgore kept getting marshmallows stuck in his beard. That sounds like something he'd do. Tea box, blatantly correct choice. Tea, huh? Coming right up. It'll take a moment for the water to boil. Yet again, that sound effect. Okay, it's all done. Here we are. Careful, it's hot. It's not that hot. Just drink it already. You take a sip of the tea. It's burning, but other than that, it's pretty good. It's pretty good, right? Nothing but the best for my absolutely precious friend. Hey, you know, it's kind of strange you chose that tea. Golden flower tea. That's Asgore's favorite kind. Actually, now that I think about it, you kind of remind me of him. You're both total weenies. Sort of. You know, I was a pretty hot-headed kid. Once, to prove I was the strongest, I tried to fight Asgore. Emphasis on tried. I couldn't land a single blow on him. And worse, the whole time, he refused to fight back. I was so humiliated. Afterwards, he apologized and said something goofy. Excuse me, do you want to know how to beat me? I said yes, and from then on, he trained me. One day during practice, I finally knocked him down. I felt bad, but he was beaming. I had never seen someone more proud to get their butt kicked. Anyway, long story short, he kept training me. And now I'm the head of the Royal Guard. So I'm the one who gets to train dorks to fight. Like, uh, Papyrus. But, um, to be honest, I don't know if I could ever let Papyrus into the Royal Guard. Don't tell him I said that. It's just, well, I mean, it's not that he's weak. He's actually pretty freaking tough. It's just that he's... he's too innocent and nice. I mean, look, he was supposed to capture you, and he ended up being friends with you instead. I could never send him into battle. He'd get ripped into little smiling shreds. That's part of why I started teaching him how to cook, you know? So, um, maybe he can do something else with his life. Yeah, you're not doing a great job with the cooking lessons. Oh, sorry. I was taking talking for so long. You're out of tea, aren't you? I'll get you some more. Wait a second. Papyrus, his cooking lesson. He was supposed to have that right now! 
And if he's not here to have it, you'll have to have it for him. So much destruction. That's right. Nothing has brought Papyrus and I closer than cooking. Which means that if I give you this lesson, his lesson, rather, we'll become closer than you can ever imagine. <laughs> Afraid? We're gonna be best friends. Let's start with the sauce. Envision these ve vegetables as your greatest enemy. Now pound them to dust with your fist. You punch the vegetables at full force. You knock over a tomato. Yeah, yeah! Our hearts are uniting against these healthy ingredients. Now it's my turn! Yeah. You know, without any context, that would look pretty gruesome. Uh, we'll just scrape them into a bowl later. This into a bowl later. But for now... We had the noodles! Homemade noodles are the best! I just buy store brand. They're the cheapest. Gah! Uh, just put them in the pot. How will you put them in? Fiercely! You throw everything into the pot as hard as you can, including the box. It clanks against the empty bottom. Yeah! I'm into it! Alright, now it's time to stir the pasta. As a general rule of thumb, the more you stir, the better it is. Ready? Let's do it. Stir harder! 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 I'm... Oh, let me do it. <laughs> That's the stuff. Alright, now for the final step. Turn up the heat! Let the stove's top symbolize your, your passion. Let your hopes and dreams turn into burning fire. Ready? Don't hold anything back. Uh... Hotter. Hotter! Darn it! Hotter! Wait, that's two! Whew. Well, that spaghetti's done. Ah, man, no wonder Papyrus sucks at cooking. So what's next? Scrapbooking? Friendship bracelets? Oh, who am I kidding? I really screwed this up, didn't I? I can't force you to like me, human. Some people just don't get along with each other. I feel like me and Undyne and Alphys would all be great friends. I understand if you feel that way about me. And if we can't be friends, that's okay. Because if we're not friends, it means I can destroy you without any regret. I've been defeated. My house is in shambles. I even failed to befriend you. That's it. I don't care if you're my guest anymore. One final rematch. All out on both sides. It's the only way I can regain my lost pride. Now oh, come on, hit me with all you've got. Fake attack. You pretend to swing at Undyne with all your might. You know, I wonder if I actually attacked. Would she, like... Huh. That's the best you can manage? Even attacking at full force, you just can't muster any intent to hurt me, huh? Heh, you know what? <coughs> I don't actually want to hurt you either. At first, I hated your stupid... Saturn shtick? Saturn. But the way you hit me right now, hit... Reminded me of someone I used to train with. Now I know you aren't just some wimpy loser. You're a wimpy loser with a big heart. I also kind of burnt your house down. Sorry about that. Just like him. Listen, human. It seems that you and Asgore are fated to fight. But knowing him, he probably doesn't want to. Talk to him. I'm sure you can persuade him to let you go home. Eventually, some mean human will fall down here. And I'll take their soul instead. That makes sense, right? Foo hoo. Oh, and if you do hurt Asgore, I'll take the human souls, cross the barrier, and beat the hell out of you. That's what friends are for, right? Foo hoo hoo. 
Now let's get a, let's get the hell out of this flaming house. Well, that was fun, huh? We'll have to hang out an again another time. But uh, somewhere else, I guess. In the meantime, I guess I'll go to hang with the virus. So if you need me, drop by Snowden, okay? Oh, and if you ever need help, just give Papyrus a ring, okay? Since we're in the same spot, I'll be able to talk too. Well, see you later, punk. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and call it a call it a day with this episode. Uh, poor Undyne. So if you guys liked it, remember to like and subscribe, and uh, hit the notification bell to be notified when I release new episodes. And I will see all of you in the next one. Bye!